The Cleveland Gladiators beat the Portland Thunder tonight in downtown Cleveland at the Q. 61-40, the final NetTed Wireless Arena football Saturday here on CBS Sports Network. Brent Stover and Anthony Heron, Shane Austin and company, an offense impressive for the, the now 14-1 Gladiators, but the defense might have really stolen the show, locking it down in the second half. Overall, this has been the story of the Cleveland Gladiators season. The offense has taken steps forward as Shane Austin has continued to emerge, but Dominic Goodman at the wide receiver position and most certainly the defense with the physicality they play with at each level has been his biggest story all season for the Gladiators. But Goodman, five touchdowns on the night. He's been the leader when this team, not only last time they went to the playoffs in 2011, but here over the last couple of seasons, when this organization has struggled, Dominic Goodman has been the stabilizing force for this football team. Now he's in the stands kissing babies. He may run for mayor of Cleveland at some point. But Dominic Jones on the defensive side of the football came up with three huge interceptions in this ball game, showing the ball hawking ability that's a step forward for him as the middle safety because we've always known how physical Dominic Jones plays with. Final stats, rushing yards, big advantage for Cleveland, and that's a pretty big number. Thunder had more passing yards by a wide margin, but three touchdown win for Cleveland. Without a doubt, and the way this ball game turned out, the Portland Thunder, they're still in the playoff hunt. Cleveland with a possibility of trying to clinch the division depending on what happens with the Pittsburgh power. 14-1 and one for the Gladiators, the story in the, the Arena Football League this season. 4-11 now for the Thunder. A touchdown win at home for Cleveland. For Anthony Heron, I'm Brent Stover. So long from the queue.